Welcome to Silver Barkeep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely Big City, Texas. Today we're going to take a look at Brooklyn Special Effects. Brooklyn uh, Brewery in New York puts out some amazing beers and they started putting out non-alcoholics uh, about a year ago. Is their special effects, it's uh, labeled a uh, slight, uh, hang on, I have to get my glasses here. Should have had these ready. Non-alcoholic hoppy brew. So, an IPA style, non-alcoholic. Now, before I get into this, I do want to say, um, I've got the blue can. There's a green can of this out there that apparently tastes a little different. Um, my, my good buddy, Kevin, sent me on this uh, originally a while back and said, man, you got to try this. It's really good. Just the other day, he sent me a, another text and said, you know, I tried that, the, the Brooklyn Special Effects. I really don't like it. And he had the green can. So, um, apparently, there are different tastes. They're, they're titled... The same, same name, best I can tell, everything is the same except for the, the color of the can. So let's take a look at the blue can for what it's worth. So uh, the purpose of saying that is, is we're reviewing the blue can, not the green can, because apparently they are not exactly the same. So Brooklyn Special Effects, nice, nice head on this thing. Nice bubbles, a nice smooth, kind of a malty, um, IPA smell. So it's got it's got the maltiness as well as the hoppiness on on the the, the nose. Really nice, pleasant nose on it. And a really really nice flavor. Um, you know it's kind of it's kind of got it's very clear, dark golden, but the flavor of this thing is is really really nice. It's got some nice maltiness to it. Um, it's a light. Um, hoppiness. It's not a real hoppy beer. If you're looking for a real hoppy style IPA, this is probably not going to cut it for you because it's, it's it, the hops are there, but they're the and the hops are strong enough to where it's not just a, a, a normal lager style beer. It's got the elevated hops, but it's not just over the top, extremely hoppy, super hop hopped up beer. I like this one. I I, I don't really. No, nah, I wouldn't say I don't care. My favorite style is not the real hoppy beers. I like more of a malty beer. Uh, but I do like hops, and I, and I do like it um, in an IPA occasionally. This is really good uh, from, from my standpoint, from my taste, because I I like that more of a balanced, malty, hoppy taste. And this has definitely got that. This is uh, it's got a nice forward um, taste. And a, and a decent lingering aftertaste, not super long aftertaste, but it's got all the way back in the tongue, all the way down the throat, the tingle, really good. It just tastes like beer. And, 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 and you know, when I'm looking for the non-alcoholics, I like that. I don't like the real, uh, the homebrew flavor. I've mentioned that before, kind of metallic. This has none of that. It's got a nice, smooth beer taste to it. Um, and, and I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I've given this a four and a half. This is this is really a good beer, um, and, and one that I I will drink uh, and, and will drink often uh, if I can continue to find it. Uh, I'm kind of interested and in, in may do a review on the green can in the future, uh, but for now, blue can, uh, Brooklyn special effects. I like this one. The sober barkeep, live well and drink smart.